Stamperia recently launched the Lady and Sir Vagabond paper line on Hochanda and they had a one day special. So I thought I would show you how I made this hat. I started with a party hat, one I had in my stash, but most party shops stock these felt hats. I cut out two sheets of the same paper to get the books to be able to have them on each side. The paper comes in loose cardstock as well as in the paper pad. Then I used the mold and the one that I used is K3PTA482 using resin I molded a whole lot of pieces and then using Stamperia's spray gesso I sprayed everything black. So here you can see me arranging everything and using glossy gel to stick it all together. Glossy gel takes a little while to set so if you are needing an urgent party hat I suggest that you use glossy gel together with a hot glue gun because then you know everything will stay in place but if you just use a hot glue gun unfortunately over time the pieces will pop off so it is a good idea to use the glossy gel underneath as well as a little bit of the hot glue gun so I'm stacking and stacking and stacking my molds to create a little bit of height on top of the hat I am not too worried where I put the gel and it stuck out. I had made these wings that I had thought I would have sticking out on the front but I decided that because these had to travel from Berlin to Germany, uh, Germany to um, England that it wasn't a good idea to have them sticking out. The chances are somehow one wing would get knocked off. So you'll see just now how I recreate the wings. But what I'm doing now is I'm taking some glossy gel and some black Allegro paint and mixing them together so that I have got a black backdrop to this clear resin piece that I molded from Antoine's mold with the owl on. And this way the white won't shine through and it'll look a little bit more realistic. So now that I'm happy with everything I'm going to carry on building my structure and I like to make my resin pieces look like they could possibly be original gears. Here you see me taking some mica powder and resin and mixing it together. This is the white resin and the umber mica powder does color the resin really really nicely and it sets quite quickly. So while it's still soft you can take it out of the mold and form it around your hat. So having formed it around the hat I'm now going to paint everything to look rusty and for that I'm using the Allegro paint in Matone which I call rust color which is KAL20. I am also using Terra de Ombra which is KAL106 and for the highlights I am adding and I can't pronounce this very well Arancione KAL08 and what I'm doing is I am keeping the dark on one side and the light colors on the other side just to create some interest I know that rust doesn't really behave like that but this is my artistic impression of rust and I want it to be a little bit more interesting than all over brown. So you can see that this piece is for the front of the hat and I am painting them while they're on my paper. I'm then going to dry it and at the same time that softens it. So having put it on the hat I can now form it. Here you can see me using both the glue gun and the extra forte glue to hold that in place. Now I'm taking out the Visace Gold uh, KAB87 and I am picking up all the details in the molds just by dry brushing over the top. 
I am using more on the pale side, on my highlight side, than I am on the other side, but I am still dry brushing slightly. Now I'm clipping the surface of the clear resin, so I've used crystal clear resin in that light bulb, just to pick up the details. And because the wings already have color, I don't need to paint them. But what I do want to do is create some interest and pick up the veins in the wings and show up the structure a whole lot more. So once I'm happy with those and got them even, I'm going to now glue those onto my hat. Then I created a while ago a leather pair of goggles. And I decided that they would look really good on this hat. I used some jam jar bottle lids for the, I don't know what to call them, for the glasses fronts. Um, and some wire that you would normally use as bug screen. So it's quite stiff but it's quite easy to cut with scissors and I glued that inside. Then I I'm adding a gear that I made at the same time as making the wings so you can see that everything is coming together now. Okay, here I go mixing a little bit more black allegro with some gel medium so that I can glue on my wings properly. Having decided where they're going to go earlier, I'm now ready to stick them on. And again, I don't want white glue sticking out and I'm going to help them stay in place with the hot glue gun. But over time, the gel will set and hold it even better than the hot glue. The hot glue is just a temporary measure to help them stay in place so I don't have to hold them for ages while the gel sets. You can see me adding a little bit of extra glue to hold it in place and then taking the excess off. And that's how I made my hat. It's as easy as that. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give it a try. I'd love to see your creations using these molds and the paper from Lady Vagabond. See you soon.